and we are on our way to the GMC today. The way the tour works, I don't know why, but it seems that like every time Maeve and I go on a tour, it lashes around, but here we are. Hopefully it will clear for the observatory part of the tour later. Um, but the way the tour works is you get your bus from Seoul City Centre and you get dropped to this park where everybody gets on shuttle buses. So you have about an hour to explore the park and everything about the Korean War that is here. We are in Iminjak Park. So that is the furthest north you can go in South Korea without government permission. So we are here on our tour, just waiting on our shuttle bus. So there's actually a lot to see around here while you're here. One of them is behind me, it's Freedom Bridge. So this is one of the bridges that was used to return prisoners after the war. tunnel so after the Korean War the North Korean military created these tunnels basically to infiltrate South Korea again and this is the third tunnel that was found so we actually got to go in underneath it and walk through so we were all like this with our helmets on because it's right under the DMZ we had to have <laughs> uh, we weren't allowed to have cameras or anything but when we got to the end we could see 170 meters of the end of the tunnel into North Korea so that's as close to North Korea as we're going to get today so because the JSA is closed but we could see it it was right there Cycling, guys. So I can see cycling in the other direction now, and there's someone walking. I can see two of them walking along. No, what? Do you think they know I can see them? Yeah, I'd say so. Oh, there's someone on a scooter. I'm trying to find the people. We're on the third floor of the Dora Observatory, so this is where you look over the DMZ into North Korea. So through the binoculars we were able to see into the tower that Kim Jong-un's sister blew up and we were able to actually see people walking around. We actually saw a bit of a gathering happening. <laughs> Do you want to tell us where we are? Where every tour ends at the gift shop. <laughs> 
So that was our tour of the GMZ. It was so good. We've done a lot of tours, I think, since we arrived in Asia a few months ago. And that was without a doubt, like my favorite one. It was so good. I don't know if it's like interest level, cause I'm particularly, like if you have an interest in something like the DMZ, North Korea, yeah. South Korea, the history, but it was just so well done. All the stops are really good. I think my favorite stop was the observation deck. Yeah, definitely. And then probably the tunnel. Also our tour guide, Jung, was amazing. Mm -hmm. She was just the nicest person person and so knowledgeable and such a good tour guide like she kept it interesting the entire time she was fab yeah loved her yeah we'll pop the link where we booked it um here it was about 70 euro each um but it's definitely worthwhile and if you're in Seoul it's it's definitely worth doing so we've just hung around the hotel now this afternoon and now we are going to head out to Namsen Tower which will be in another video so there is two ways to get up to Namsen Tower. Two? two. One of which is a cable car, which we have chosen to do because it was a 20 minute walk from our hotel to the cable car station. So it works out at about 10 euro each and then your ticket is about 12 onto the observation deck. Yeah. So it's not exactly a budget friendly thing to do when you're like just going up to a mountain. But it will be worth it for the views. Yeah. I think. I'm in no fear to walk up a mountain. Yeah, I my think the half five start. Yeah, I think option two is walk, or walk at least some of it. So the cable car at least we we'll get earlier oh, views. Okay. Oh, okay, we're here now anyway. <laughs> Fun fact, while Maeve is trotting up ahead of me, not a fan of cable cars. <laughs> recommend coming at night yeah you really see the scale of Seoul as well like yeah it was really really cool so it was 12 euro up each which I think was worth it but when you get off the cable car there is this whole observation viewing area as well outside which is really nice and you do get a pretty good yeah. view as well and there's like there is places to eat and stuff up here too yeah, which is nice if you don't have as much time as well there are queues for the mm. lifts yeah so it just took us about 20 minutes to get into a lift to get down and it wasn't that busy so but yeah definitely worth it so now we're going to go back on the cable car yay all the way down and we have got another early start tomorrow <laughs> 